Hello guys, welcome to Chemistry of Drugs. Today we will discuss a review of amino acid structure. So this topic I have selected because uh, when we further study chemistry of drugs and medicinal chemistry, so I think uh, remembering the structure of amino acids is very important because uh, when we study the mechanism of drug action and bioisosterism, this will help you definitely. So here uh, we will go through a short review of amino acid structure and we'll understand how to memorize it okay so let's uh, start it so first we will discuss all the amino acid structure at ph 7 that means neutral why i am telling that because i as we all know that amino acid is nothing but c double o h and nh2 one carboxylic acid one amino group is attached with one carbon atom okay now if we look at the structure properly this is a basic moiety this is acidic moiety so this moiety is controlled by ph so what happened here hydrogen will be released and here hydrogen will be proton actually proton will be accepted okay so the structure will be like that nh3 plus c c double o minus okay so this we call as Jupiter ion that we all know. Now let's move to the structure of this amino acids. So we are basically uh, divide amino acid structure based on the polarity and the side chain. Okay. So basic amino acid structure is actually NH3 plus C, C double O minus and there is one R group. So this R group is being changed and defined amino acid will be produced okay now if we take a look at the polarity of the amino acid there is one non-polar amino acid and polar amino acid so non-polar means it will not dissolve in water polar means it will dissolve in water or aqueous medium so now if we discuss about non-polar there is one we, we can divide it as aliphatic R group and aromatic R group and aromatic R group okay and for polar we have uh, uncharged R group and another one is charged R group so uh, in charged R group, there is positively charged and there is negatively charged. Okay, so this is just a basic overview of the different uh, amino acids classified based on their polarity. Now, let's uh, draw the actual structure. Okay, so first we will draw non polar amino acid, non polar amino acid having aliphatic R group. So, aliphatic means we all know simply. Uh, hydrocarbon bond hydrocarbon uh, chain actually so first uh, all we know basic amino acid is glycine right so structure is very simple nh3 c c double o h okay then there is one hydrogen so this all structure as i have previously uh, said that these are at ph7 okay based on the ph the structure can be changed okay so that we will discuss later now this is glycine next is alanine so this is actually r group that we are changing over. okay so nh3 plus c double o h instead of hydrogen we will include one methyl group so this is alanine right then we have valine NH3 plus C double O minus. Okay, then this structure. This is actually CH2. Here CH3, CH3. This is valine. Okay, so now how to remember actually? So this is very difficult to remember all the amino acid structure and sometimes it gets very confused with the different amino acid structure so now if we closely look at the structure of the valine see there is one v kind of things over here reverse v actually 
so thus we can uh, easily remember this is the structure of valine glycine and alanine we should remember very easily because here r equals to h and here r equals to ch3 okay so this is valine so we'll keep continue with this valine okay so we'll again draw the structure of valine valine is in h so let's uh, change the color of the pen so valine is nh3 okay c double h yes ch3 ch3 this is valine right then we have leucine so what is the structure of leucine so first of all we have to draw the basic structure of amino group then we will add ch2 right so ch2 then we will go further like this so one thing we should watch over here that with the difference between valine and leucine see here on carbon is extra ch2 is extra so let's mark it with a different color so here ch2 is extra then valine okay so from valine to leucine we have to include one ch2 group this is leucine right isoleucine now comes to isoleucine so from the name itself it is saying that it is a isomer of leucine so what is the isomer so isomer should be uh, you can change the position of the methyl group then it can form an isomer because our this portion is fixed okay so now let's try to draw nh3 c double h okay here you go here we draw a c now we'll move this methyl group over here right so now this ch3 ch sorry ch2 ch3 okay so uh, if we uh, linearly draw this uh, leucine then it will be very easy to understand the structure and compare with uh, isoleucine actually here ch2 then we have ch3 then here is ch3 okay this is the same structure of leucine right so now what I've done, just move this CH3 to over there, okay, and it will become isolation, right? Now compare with this structure. So as I have already told, isomer of leucine is isolation, right? Now we move to methionine. The next structure is methionine. So from the name we can uh, predict the structure actually so thio means uh, we can change the color thio means there will be sulfur and uh, me me means there should be methyl group okay so now if we predict the structure this uh, nh3 c c double o h then ch2 okay and put a sulfur in here okay now now surround this sulfur with ch2 ch3 okay so that structure uh, we can visualize is that thio is surrounded by methyl actually this is methyl group okay this is ch2 group so thio is surrounded by ch2 and ch3 group and rest are the same so this is the structure of methionine it is a sulfur containing amino acid as we can see from the structure okay now so another very important non-polar amino acid is proline. So this is a cyclic amino acid. So the structure is C C double O minus. And here instead of NH3, it will be NH2 plus. Now from proline, pro means we can view is that 
propyl group okay so now three carbon chain will be attached ch2 ch2 and ch2 so this is proline amino acid structure that is aromatic r group so till now what we are studying was aliphatic r group now we will move to aromatic r group so first of all uh, there is phenyl alanine so very very easy structure because we know the structure of alanine right so structure of alanine is uh, like this this is and if it is ch3 then it would be alanine now we add phenyl ring so this is phenyl alanine then we have tyrosine tyrosine is instead of hydrogen over here actually there is hydrogen right so instead of hydrogen over here we will add oh hydroxyl group and it will become tyrosine so let's draw the structure ch2 phenyl ring and oh right this is tyrosine okay another important very important aliphatic uh, sorry aromatic r group is tryptophan tryptophan so this tryptophan has indole ring okay now let's draw the structure in h3 let's change the color in h3 then c double o minus then ch2 then the indole structure in h So this is tryptophan this is tryptophan so all we studied last three structure is aromatic r group okay this is phenyl alanine this is tyrosine and now this is tryptophan okay so these are all we discussed about nonpolar aliphatic and aromatic r group possessed amino acids okay so all are nonpolar so if you closely look at the structure there is no polar group in the r portion only okay so which we are changing the r group there is no polar group right so now we will move to now we will move to polar amino acids so polar amino acids i have already told that there should be charged part charged r and there is uncharged r okay so within charged r there is plus there is minus right so now first we will discuss polar uncharged polar uncharged r group right so polar uncharged r group the basic structure is serine right so serine structure is In H3, C double H minus, sorry, C double O minus CH2. Now we are saying this is polar, so we need to add one polar group, right? OH hydroxyl group. Add hydroxyl, it will become serine, right? So now we will move to threonine. So threonine again one polar group should be included and what's the structure in h3 c double h c okay ch3 oh so here what happened actually this oh we have added but now we'll see the difference between serine and threonine here one ch3 methyl group is added and oh group is there okay so only methyl group is added in the threonine right 
So now let's move to cysteine, thiol containing amino acids. So thiol is SH. So the structure is NH3 C double O minus CH2 SH. Very simple. Thiol. So you can actually correlate cysteine structure with serine actually. So if we draw the serine structure, it is NH3 C double O H CH2 then OH right this is serine structure so instead of OH we have put SH okay so this is cysteine now we will move to some more polar amino acids two important polar amino acids are asparagine and glutamine okay so asparagine and glutamine are polar uncharged R group amino acids. Let's draw the structure NH3 plus C double O minus CH2. Okay. Now this functional group. What is this functional group? This is amide, right? So this is amide functional group CO NH2 this amide group we can found in peptide bond right now draw the glutamine structure glutamine is one carbon extra then asparagine CH2 then CONH2 this is glutamine okay so these all are asparagine, glutamine, cysteine, serine, threonine, all are polar uncharged amino acids. Now we will move to negatively charged R group amino acids. So before we draw the negatively charged R group amino acid, we will again draw asparagine and glutamine. Because there is one reason, I will discuss it. So first draw asparagine and glutamine okay so asparagine is NH3 plus C double O minus CH2 C double bond O NH2 and glutamine is one carbon extra C double O minus CH2 CH2 C double bond O NH2 right so now we will study negatively charged negatively charged R group amino acids okay so two amino acids I will talk about one is aspartate another is glutamate so from the name you can easily draw the structure because we know the asparagine structure and glutamine structure. Now this is, I have already told that this is negatively charged. The negatively charged means uh, either we should have one negative charge functional group or some negative charge on any atom. So this is amide linkage, right? So if you draw the structure like this, NH3, C double O minus CH2 and C double O minus. Okay, so what I have done, just remove the amine functional group over from here and just put the acid functional group. Okay, so basically this acid reacts with some primary amine and then this asparagine amide group linkage is formed. Okay. So this is this is a structure of aspartate and glutamate very easy NH3 C double O minus CH2 CH2 C double O minus so this is the negative charge present in the R group this is the negative charge present in the R group so that is why they are negatively charged R group 
polar amino acids of course they are polar functional group they are polar functional group right so next we will move to positively charged r group amino acids right so here first we will discuss lysine lysine then arginine then histidine okay so largin sorry lysine arginine and histidine lysine is nh3 c double o minus then ch2 right so now i will draw this basic structure in arginine as well as in histidine also then we will draw the rest of the structure so that we can easily memorize it ch2 right there is actually uh, there we will add rest of the functional group we will draw later so nh3 c double o minus ch2 okay now let's add rest of the functional group so lysine we will add three more ch2 and one nh3 plus right okay in arginine we will add two more ch2 and one guanidine group nh2 plus and NH2. In histidine, we will add one imidazole ring, right? So this is imidazole. So comparing these three structure, lysine, arginine, and histidine, we can separate it out from here and compare it. Okay. So in lysine, after this group NH3, CH, C double minus CH2, we have three carbon and nh3 plus this plus that is why it is positively charged amino acid then over here we will add two carbon and one guanidine group this is guanidine group and plus over here is giving the positive charge okay in histidine we have imidazole ring this is the imidazole ring now the question comes in histidine we did not put any positive sign on any of the nitrogen atom so why is it categorized as positive charged amino acids okay so the answer is in ph 7 so not so significant amount of histidine is uh, positively charged but a small fraction is actually positively charged that is why we have categorized histidine in positively charged amino acids okay so i hope this discussion on uh, review of amino acid structure helps you to remember all the amino acids as uh, categorized way in a more easy way and so this amino acid structure review will help you definitely in further medicinal chemistry study so thank you very much for your valuable time and we'll continue on the next video on another new topic now it is a test time in this video i have intentionally made one mistakes in one of the chemical structure of one amino acid so it's your job to find it out so in tryptophan i have told that this is aromatic r group present non polar amino acids right this tryptophan present indole ring so this is indole ring so here if we closely watch the indole structure it is actually wrong okay so we need to add one double bond over here that is the mistakes i have intentionally made right okay so thank you very much for your time and we'll hope we'll see a new video very soon thank you